Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. A very, very hearty welcome to you all indeed today on this uh, controversial subject. Today I want to talk to you guys about pedophastry, pedophastry, and what it is, what it means, and so on and so forth. But before I say another word, I want to show you the following video the following uh so to 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 so you can get into the feel uh from direct experience of what it is i'm going to be talking about now for those of you more attentive individuals you will notice that the word pedophastry the uh, prefix is pedo as in something to do with children like pedophile but obviously and as you would expect, in the same way that a pedophile exploits children for uh, a sexual gratification, so pedophastry is a similar thing, is a similar exploitation of children in order to gain some sort of a benefit, but specifically in uh, a, a political or a rhetorical situation. So let's go directly to this following video. Now, some of you may be may know this video. I want you to listen to this individual. Thank you very and, much. And um, let's get My right to it. So this is July a 29. testimony. And we wanted to spend some time in Kuwait with her. I only pray that none of my 10th grade classmates had a summer vacation like I did. So just to pause, this, this testimony from this girl is what convinced the Americans to go into Kuwait, right? We all are familiar with that war. And this girl's testimony was the one that, that sealed the deal. That Pay attention. What I saw happen to the children of Kuwait and to my country has changed my life forever. It has changed the life of all Kuwaitis, <laughs> young and old. We are children no more. My sister, with my five-day-old nephew, traveled across the desert to safety safety. There is no milk available for the baby in Kuwait. They barely escaped when their car was stuck in the desert, desert sand, and help came from Saudi Arabia. I stayed behind and wanted to do something for my country. It's the second week after an invasion, I volunteered, volunteered at the al Hospital with 12 other women who wanted to help as well. I was the youngest volunteer. The other women were from 20 to 30 years old. While I was there, I saw the Iraqi soldiers g come into the hospital with guns. They took the babies out of the incubators, took the incubators, and left the children to die on the cold floor. It was horrifying. I could not help but think of my nephew. All right, so I'm going to pause it right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, having witnessed that, it was this girl's testimony that really provoked the U.S. government who wanted to stay out to go into to go into Kuwait and go and fight. So this testimony was given before the uh, Congressional Human Rights Caucus. This happened in 1990. This girl was 15 years old, and it was widely pu publicized and so on and so forth. Um, now, for those of you that are unaware, what you just witnessed was a complete and utter fake, a total utter fake. And this, this girl was coached, was coached. She knew she was lying. She knew she was lying and she was coached and trained in order to give a false statement in order to, to, uh, um, uh, uh, get get uh, get and notice the whole thing is just this emotional utter emotional incontinence feel sorry for me shame poor me shame poor children who are being thrown on the floor when they later they later uh, uh, discovered that no such thing happened that this this entire thing was utterly false and so then um, the war in Kuwait um, to, uh, 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 to, to uh, uh, that, well, they went in. And so the the story was, I'm going to go here to the internet source. This is Wikipedia, so it's relatively uh, well known. 
Right. The story was initially corroborated by Amnesty International, uh, published independent reports and so on and so forth. Right. So here we go. A false testimony given before the Congress. She only gave her first name and the testimony was widely po da 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 so on and so forth. It turns out that um, she, uh, she, her last name was Al Sabah, and she was the daughter of Saud, Saud Al Sabah, and a Kuwait ambassador. And the whole thing was just—it was just dodgy dealings, and it was—it uh, uh, was yet again another another U.S. interference. The whole thing was yet again another U.S. interference in a foreign foreign nation to 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 change to foster regime change right and so this is this is a was a, is a prime example of what we call it of what's known as pedophistry right the use of children to emotionally manipulate gullible idiots into going off and playing the white knight to go and save the day uh, um, and meanwhile the whole thing is a lie the whole thing is a lie, and the purpose of it is to rile the people up emo emotionally to the point where they cannot be reasoned with, there's no rationale, it's just emotions all over the place, and the people are then compelled to act before the full truth of the matter comes in, so that people can actually make a proper educated uh, uh, uh an educated assessment of the situation in order to respond in, a, in an appropriate manner. Um, and, uh, so yeah, the whole thing was an absolute lie, total lie. Um, and I'm going to leave it, um, I'm going to leave it there, there for you, but there was a whole bunch of, um, uh, there was uh, legal, uh, I uh, saw so law firms and stuff like that, that worked with her to coach her on, uh, uh, and in, in order to get her. So the whole thing was basically, um, a, co a, co a corrupt, uh, collaboration between government, between legal firms and international uh, non-NGOs, uh, so non-government organizations or charities. They collaborated in order to deceive uh, the U.S. political system, first of all, and to deceive the U.S. public into going into, the, into Kuwait in order to further the political aims of the U.S. government, of the U.S. shadow government, most likely, right? Um, and in order to uh, create regime change and over and essentially it resulted in overthrowing the government on behalf of a of a of a of a of a Kuwait sheikh or or, or king who was willing to be a a vassal for the U.S. for the U.S. government. Right now, I want you guys to now see if this. Uh, if you see similar things going on in the following video, let's go have a look. Our message is that we'll be watching you. <laughs> and all the idiots applaud, yeah? This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. That's true. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> Yet you all come to us young people. For hope, how dare you? You have stolen my dreams, my childhood with your empty words, and yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about all right, I can't watch anymore because that's that's some of the most cringy cringy stuff I that I've ever seen in my life, right? Again, this this young girl, right? Just like with Naira, this young girl has been completely and utterly manipulated, misused and abused by parents who are seeking the limelight because her parents are no good right you can go and and look at the stuff her parents are absolutely no good they are the lowest of the lowest of sorts and um again this this young child who like she said should be in school should should know absolutely should have nothing to do with this right make it clear because here's the thing right i shared i shared this video here where is it 
right i shared the following video here let me show you here's the following video i i strongly recommend uh that you guys go and check it out top 10 reasons why uh greta thunberg is a fraud right i strongly recommend you go and have a look at this at this video i will link it below right where basically what happens is the individual the individual that produced the video uh documents in a very very succinct very easy to understand way how greta's rise to fame as it were was not organic but something that is that is uh, uh contrived by special interest groups political groups and the media in order to get this girl to be an icon and a voice for the global warming for the glo whole climate change uh, farce basically is what it is and it documents all of the special interest political groups and all of these people who are raking in the money who are seriously raking in the money and how they are manipulating this girl and other young children like her into this mass hysteria in order to call for and you end up in this kind of uh like we saw in the video just now this outer cringe worthy, worthy thing now here's the thing when i shared the video right and anyone that that that's done a similar thing shares the video so that people can see the 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 manipulation that is behind the scenes you get what you usually you, you the the response is predictable right you uh so for, i'll give you my my personal example so i shared this video on facebook saying listen this is look at this absurdity to reveal the absurdity watch it have a look to see what's going on behind the scenes the things that we don't see the manipulation the money that exchanges hands and all these kinds of things to get this 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 issue because the whole climate change issue not only is it i mean not only is it the, one of the most stupid th uh, scientific things uh this whole idea of science there's no such thing of scientific con consensus right that, that first of all that's false and the idea that truth is established by consensus is again utterly false it's absolute nonsense and the these people are are are, are uh, uh so the energy prices in europe and in the west have skyrocketed we've wasted money on 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 uh alternative energy technologies that don't work right i'm an engineer so i've actually looked into the stuff and i understand why it does not work it does not do what it promises to do and all it does is it skyrockets the 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 the, the price of energy first of all and it's not actually cleaner because the fact of the matter is even if you think about electric cars right let's say you took every single car on the planet and change it to an electric car the fact of the matter is these electric cars still need electricity where the hell do you idiots think that the the electricity comes from the power plant there's an extra drain on the power system and that energy needs to come from somewhere doesn't it so unless you go nuclear or etc etc it's 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 just as dirty then you've got the 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 the, pro, the production of the batteries which is not clean you've got all the ridiculous chemicals that are in the batteries which are not clean the batteries are stupidly expensive and so on and so forth it's not and and then disposing of them is not necessarily clean right so these solutions they're just they're just making different <laughs> different people rich is all they're doing right and the simple fact of the matter is that CO and CO2 is not a, CO2 is not a pollutant. Never been, never will be a pollutant. In fact, you want plenty of CO2 in the atmosphere because that is the way you're going to get your your forests and your green things to grow. Any one of you, so I'm very interested in aquascaping. Those of you who keep fish tanks with live plants and stuff like that, who keep terrariums, whatever the case might be, anyone who raises plants at all will know that one of the things you do is you put either into the water if you're using aquatic plants or into the air if you've got a, uh, a ter uh, whether it's a, just a plant terrarium or whether you are have a greenhouse or something like that you intentionally pump co2 into the thing in order for the plants to grow all right to grow wildly all right so this idea and it's the whole thing is just so stupid it's just it's absolutely unbelievable now one of the most pernicious things the absolute most pernicious things is the fact that the west the west developed into the 
uh, technological powerhouse that it is, right? And why did it do that? It did that because it had use of fossil fuels, right? That's the only reason. It had use the use of fossil fuels in order to generate industry and so on and so forth. Because let me tell you something, you cannot run a factory on solar panels, right? You, it you ca cannot be done. You cannot run a factory on wind turbines. Cannot be done right end of story foundries whatever the case might be it cannot be done simple end of story cannot be done right the only way is nuclear right simple as that but all the green people they all want to have a little hissy fit about nuclear energy right because they think of chernobyl and the whole issue in japan but again all of these things happen because of stupidity basically right i mean you go build something in an earth earthquake zone it's just you know anyway right there's no reason these things have to happen but that's besides the point right the fact of the matter is places like africa are now being prevented from developing because they're being told you are not allowed to tap into your fossil fuels right and so the africa will continue to languish and rot in its third world misery because they're not allowed to develop because they're not allowed to access their fossil fuels. So it was okay for the West to access its fossil fuels. And now that the West is all developed and all wonderful, they now want to look at third world peoples and condemn them and say, oh, well, you cannot use it and all that stuff and prevent them from developing. Right? The whole thing is such an absolute farce where she's talking, this, this little uh, deluded individual, right because that's what she is she's been misled the problem is not her the problem is the is the is the is the uh reprehensibles that have uh manipulated this young girl into believing this falsehood where she thinks that she was saving that what she's doing is going to save lives meanwhile what she's doing is nothing more than moving money moving government money from one place to another place right that's all they're doing and preventing and hinder and the, so that the policies will hinder the progress of third world nations, the development of third world. That is all they're doing. That is the only thing that this climate change thing and then raising uh, regulations, raising uh, uh, the uh, governmental control over natural resources and stuff like that. So you basically getting uh, an increase in uh, top down monopolies of natural resources and all that thing, the heavy regulation of, 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 of many of these things. And this is not to say that we should not look after the climate, because here's the thing. When I shared this video, you always get the same responses. Some idiot always says, oh, but we're polluting. Yes, we're polluting. Right. Yes, we should be careful with pollution and stuff like that. But just because that is true as a Christian. So for Christians, we have a duty of stewardship over every single thing that God has given us, including stewardship over the natural world to make sure we look after it, that we don't abuse it. This is absolutely correct. We have stewardship. But the duty of stewardship does not mean that we buy into every idiotic government manipulated program that in the end does not accomplish what it sets out to do right just because as christians we have stewardship does not mean that you behave like an imbecile and hand your brain over to to the activists and to the government that's not how it works right so stewardship over the environment does not mean does not mean socialism and communism and all this green ridiculousness Right. And this pan, this paganism that's now creeping in with this uh, green mentality, where now even Christians, Christians are bringing plants, right? Christian churches in the, this is the absurdity. Christian churches in the West are bringing plants into the church, placing them up on the stage and asking the plants for forgiveness. <laughs> having confession with the plants to ask the plants for forgiveness for what we're doing to the environment this is paganism this is pantheism this is what you call it whatever you like okay it's complete idiocy so here is the issue of the manipulation oh here's another thing right so when i put, put, uh, shared the video uh, an, another mate of mine, one, and this is this is what really grates my cheese, right? I haven't spoken to the guy, or traded words with the guy. Um, so he's not, he's a friend, but he's a guy that I used to work with once upon a time, and he's actually a nice guy, 
right? He's actually a nice guy. Uh, he's a smart guy. He's an intelligent guy. He's not, he's not an idiot by any stretch of the imagination and stuff like that. But nevertheless, after I've, I've barely exchanged a single word with a bloke for years, right? I post this thing up and how does he respond with a stupid meme? With a meme, because that's what these people do, right? You always know <laughs> that the people that, that, you're dealing with that they are possessed by ideology that they're that they're not thinking this is nothing but and a, a, a takeover of emotions and irrationality because when they try to con they, at first they don't converse you they don't debate you'll notice from these videos and i'm going to show you other stuff just now there's never there's never facts are never given there, there's never facts there's ne they give at most they give you some very very uh, uh shallow surface statistics but they never go into the rest for example they say that co2 is increasing which is true but what they don't tell you is that warming precedes the increase of co2 why because as the world warms the oceans release their gases into the atmosphere right so it's not co2 that is warming everything up and then warming the oceans and releasing the gas no first the warming happens and then the co2 increases so it's the other way around right they don't tell you this so they will they will tell you a half truth and say oh well, co2 is on the increase first of all it doesn't matter it's irrelevant right that co2 increases it's utterly irrelevant because it's been higher in the past and it's never been a problem right we have whether you are a christian or whether you are an evolutionist it makes no difference right the the climate changes naturally that's what it does it has nothing to do with us we cannot change it we we can neither cause it to change nor can we prevent it from changing if it so wishes it is the height of human stupidity and arrogance to think that we can have that kind of control over the bloody planet i mean do we have any idea how massive <laughs> it's ridiculous right and so for Christians, and, the, and I do this as a Christian, because there are a lot of Christians, because there is, again, in the West specifically, there is this emotionally incontinent form of Christianity, where everything is about this, this vomiting of, of emotions, left, right, and center, no rational thought whatsoever. And they look at this stuff and they think, oh, love, and, and we must just go with it, right? Whereas even if you're a Christian and you understand the history, the philosophy of history that we have from creation and stuff like that, for the, the, the last ice age was caused by a flood, was caused by the flood. So Noah and his descendants for a long time would have lived in ice age conditions, right? Because if you go and you look at what the creation community has brought up about what we should expect to happen so for example uh we know that f when when volcanoes erupt they release debris into the atmosphere it blocks out the sun and one volcano one volcano can drop the world average the world average temperature by up to four degrees one volcano so during the time of the flood we would have s had several volcanoes because in in the theory was that the crust of this earth of the earth was once a solid crust much like on other planets by the way that we've seen in our solar system the crust was a solid crust like a shell and when the eggshell bust up uh, uh, hot, uh, hot water boiling water under immense pressure volcanoes and all that it would have been such an absolute catastrophe that it did it, it it boggles the mind but that would have sign that would have dropped the world average temperature by a significant amount and thus would have created the glaciers and all the snow and all these kinds of things a lot of the mountain peaks as things shift and the, and all and then because as it breaks up it forms the continental plates and as the plates shift and crash into each other forming mountain ranges and all sorts of things so the fact of the matter is that whatever warming we see today would be a natural a natural consequence of a, a, an ice age but god did not design the planet to be an ice world did it so naturally over time from the ice age conditions as the conditions that produce the ice age dissipate right we will then then things will gradually warm up <laughs> make sense yes so you will expect the glaciers and everything to melt and all these kinds of it's what is to be expected right 
and various other things, right? So, for example, as Christians, we believe that because of human sin, the world is just the whole natural world is slowly but surely following the, the, the so I think is the second law of thermodynamics where it's slow, it's decaying slowly but surely. The, the once highly ordered perfect world that God created is then gradually and slowly it's decaying it's it's falling apart and problems and problems are going to increase and we and we understand that and we expect that right so as a Christian so any Christian that is jumping up and down like an idiot about these things first of all has absolutely no concept of what the science actually says on the matter second of all and probably worse has absolutely no concept of what the Bible actually teaches on the matter whatsoever that we should expect climate to change naturally on its own. And even if you didn't have a biblical perspective, any idiot who's lived for any amount of time knows that the climate changes. It's that simple. It, the climate is never, we generally get winter, our four seasons, but when it ends and sometimes we're like, oh, well, it's still, you know, like now, you know, at, at the, we've, cause we've got the hurricanes and stuff like that. It's unusually warm at this time of year. And sometimes it's unusually cold and, and it varies. It's just one of the ways it is. And then when you have the procession of the equinoxes, so over time, <laughs> the climate the climate changes, man. Good grief. And there's nothing to do. With, it's never had anything to do with us. It never will have anything to do with us. But does that mean that we should ignore pollution? No, it does not. We should make moves. And by the way, the only countries that have uh, managed their pollution really, really well are first world countries. 90% of all pollution is caused by third world countries right and this climate stupidity is going to prevent the third world countries from developing which means that they will have no choice but to continue using the means of energy that they have which are necessarily much more polluting much more dirty so on and so forth right and for as long as communism continues to have a hold in china the situation will not change right and the 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 the, the communist china china chinese government is very very eager on this entire climate nonsense because there's a lot of money money grubbing going on to be had to be done um and so on and so forth and that's communism for you right that's communism for you so anyway let's go to pet of pet of history right let's have a look see here Pedophistry, bigoteering, and other modern scams. This is a very, very good uh, uh, write-up by this gentleman here. Clearing the discourse of abuses and abusers. The more you institutionalize rules of ethical behavior that should be voluntary, say anti-racism and anti-sexism, the more they will be used as a cover for unethical actions, right? So here's what must be understood, right? Anti-racism anti-bigotry all these kinds of things should be voluntary you cannot force a person to be moral impossible you cannot do it right now when the government becomes the arbiter of the moral conscience you will get first of all you're going to get a dictatorship end of story right and we see that if you read every in the past uh, uh century right with all the dictatorship governments it was always oh we were like Karl Marx we want to uplift the poor we and so on and so forth well, they have all of these wonderful things all of these moral aspirations and what happens every time it results in the in the annihilation of millions every single every single time it results in in uh, uh, oppression it results in persecution and so on and so forth things that should be voluntary but are instead coerced and by and again as christians we should understand we should know the better right this is why of all the people in the world that i feel a, a degree of frustration with the ones that i find almost unforgivable are the christians because christians should know better right yet they're behaving like morons because christians more than anyone else should know that as soon that the the forced morality rather than free morality is the device of satan it is satan who forces it is satan who coerces and that's it right as soon as you have an institution that wants to force morality that wants to force uh con the the wants to impose on your conscience on your free freedom to 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 think the freedom of speech all of these kinds of things 
immediately, immediately, you know, you have a satanic agency at work. Immediately. Right? End of story. Right? And it is no different because, and when, when I say this, the average person might be thinking, or the average secular person might think, oh, well, what about the religion? The same thing with religion. The same thing with religion. The Catholic Church, one of the greatest persecutors, not only of non-Christians, but of Christians. Right? The agency of Satan, which is why the Reformation happened, and why the Reformation denounced the papal institution as a system of Antichrist. Okay? So it's it doesn't matter whether it's a secular institution or whether it's a religious institution. If there is force, moral force, uh, the coercion of the conscience, you know immediately that you have a satanic influence involved. End of story. End of story, right? And one of the finest examples of this is not only the communist regimes, but also the Catholic regime in the Middle Ages that did nothing but force and coerce, and those who would not capitulate would burn at the stake or crucify, right? Or put them on the rack or cut them up etc etc the the record of the catholic church's evil is uh is is there for everyone to know and it was it's legendary basically utter utter cruelty okay so and so this gentleman is absolutely correct pedophistry here's the definition an argument involving children to pro prop up a rationalization and make the opponent look like an asshole as people are defenseless and suspend all skepticism in front of suffering children. Nobody has the heart to question the authenticity or source of the reporting, often done with the aid of pictures. Can also describe the exploitation of babies by professional beggars. Right, so this happens. I'm going to show you an example. The exploitation of babies by professional beggars who rent them from their parents and use them as, pot as a potent appendage in their trade. Remember that children tend to grow and need to be replaced. Right? And he gives uh, here. Effective uh, provides arguments to strike before the evidence is formed. People are moved into doing something. They all Have you noticed they always say, we need to do something. They never tell you what the hell you're supposed to do. But we need to do must do something must do something right and who are always the ones that are going to do something for us it is the government right it is the government to take your taxes which is coerced right you have no choice and to give it to all and sundry to go and squander on what on the latest and most fashionable uh, uh emergency of the time okay Pedophistry has its, most, has its most effects on actors, journalists, and similar types who are intellectually insecure, deprived of critical judgment, and afraid of being classified as violators of some norm of political correctness. For instance, pedophistry has been commonly used in the Syrian war by such propagandists as Julian Rupke, continuously supplying the German public with pictures of dead children. They did the same thing with the refugee crisis, right? NGOs were making a fortune colluding with human traffickers to illegally traffic refugees over the, ch over the channel and dump them on European soil. NGOs and the money that was being made on the at the expense of the refugees by all of these bleeding heart activists was immense was immense those of you who have not seen it you need to go watch lauren southern's uh, uh documentary i forget the name i forget the name of the documentary but lauren southern did a very good documentary on this issue uh as far as i'm concerned she didn't actually go far enough she should but you know at least someone tried who knows you know um but go check it out um yeah uh, lauren lauren southern she went and, and did it right or various lobbies hired by saudi Bar Bar by saudi Bar barbaria and allies uh middle east institute dc to promote sunni to promote sunni islamist policies under the cover of thick tanks so what a lot of people so here are example the naira testimony false uh testimony who provo provided only a first name turned out to be the daughter of ambassador was responsible for tipping the u.s into the war 
and she claimed that it were all fabrications, but it's too 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 late to reverse the war. And then there's bigoteering. So here's uh, uh, so you need to read this article to see what's going on, right? And it's the and it's exactly what this what this guy here says, right? Those who are similar types who are intellectually insecure and deprived of critical judgment and afraid of being classified as violators of some norms. So basically what happens is the people who go along with it are those who are afraid of, of having others think that they're an asshole, basically, right? Because that's exactly what you get. So this, this, uh, this mate of mine on Facebook posts up this meme it was a meme of south park which uh which was uh basically says uh show here on this doll where greta thunberg uh uh hurt you you know like making basically making a joke based on what happens uh, uh on the plight that happens now this is the this is the sickness of these people right because the joke rests upon the fact so where if you if you've been assaulted in any way specifically sexually assaulted you go and you mark out on on a piece of paper when you're filing the police report and also with the physicians and stuff you mark out where the where the the perpetrator injured you okay i actually went through this myself once because a family member well not a family member a step family member assaulted me um, and uh, I, I went to the police and I filed and and to the and to the physician and I filed a report. This was uh, back when I was still living in South Africa, and uh, which is which is why you know be careful when I always say be careful when exposing your children to people who are not their parents. Enough said, right? So I've been through this process myself, and so this guy's meme, right? is basically is is it's that perverse right saying that we've somehow been triggered and offended by great and this is and here's here's where the sophistry is because it has nothing to do with the girl no one no one is interested in the girl what the well no one is interested in the girl that she's being offend that she's being triggering and all that kind of stuff the issue is that the girl is being exploited right so these people they always come with these little memes again because people <laughs> it, ignorant people revert to the stone age basically rather than articulate rather than watch the video and see listen i agree with this or i disagree with that and whatever and actually have a proper civilized mature discussion about it instead they revert to the stone age and post pictures which is what memes are post pictures which straw man the the, the the argument and so on and so forth and the same guy then posted another video which is uh, a, a helpline for people who have been triggered by greta and it's 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 that kind of low intellect kind of uh jab at you to try and 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 annoy you which is very effective a lot of the times right and this is not to say that people on my side of the fence don't do that this is this is a lowbrow low intellect tactic that is used by people on all sides of the political spectrum everywhere everywhere christians atheists those who are skeptics of climate change those, those who are in favor of climate everyone does it right and as soon as someone does that even if the person is otherwise an intelligent individual like my friend actually is right immediately you know that on this particular regard the individual has given up their rational cognitive faculties in favor of uh sensationalistic ones emotionally motivated ones through this uh very effective type of propaganda it's the same thing like when politicians walk around on camera kissing babies right <laughs> it's it's all the same it's it's all the same thing the the manipulation of the gullible masses of the credulous masses by using the children by and this is and it is actually so perverted to use the suffering of others in order to advance yourself politically and now another thing is that what people don't realize is that the 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 uh, uh the organizations Oxfam and all of these 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 charities, right? They they use this as um, a manipulation to get you to give them money. When most of the money, the poor people who need it, they don't see most of it, right? 
this is why <laughs> you want to go into good business, go into a charity. You'll make yourself you, the, 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 the big wigs. So when, when leaders of charities, right, are taking home hundred thousand pounds plus, right. And mid-level and mid-level, uh, 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 charity employees are taking home 60,000 pounds a year plus right you need to know that there's something wrong here the, <laughs> the ngos the workers of ngos now have salaries comparable to those in the private sector right they've actually exceeded the salaries of those in in the public sector and are now getting to the point where they are earning as much as those in the private sector come on right and another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that some charities exist for the sole purpose the sole purpose of campaigning politically so the money that they bring in is then reinvested to lobby the government for special laws right and those people will then have ties to corporations to special interest groups of various kinds the whole thing it's an utter cesspool of corruption utter cesspool of corruption and for the average moron on the road they thrust pictures of suffering children in your face in order to manipulate your good nature right because you're supposed to feel strongly about such images right you're supposed to feel strongly about it because unless you're a sociopath unless you're a psychopath or a narcissist you should have an emotional reaction to these things because these tragedies really really are terrible but freaking out and behaving like a complete idiot helps no one right for the billions right the char charities rake in not hundreds of thousands not millions they rake in to the tune of about a hundred billion 70 to a hundred billion a year in the uk alone okay <laughs> we should have ended world hunger by now <laughs> how is it that we have not done this achieved this already okay come on and um so a lot of again like uh, to reiterate a lot of people don't realize that a lot of these charities exist for the sole purpose of social engineering to manipulate public opinion in and lobby government in order to get certain legislation passed which in the end do nothing more that op than oppress the population even more and it's not that and we're not ignorant of these things right mail online what really happens to the billions you donate to charity right so here's the thing not only do you do you as an individual donate to charity right you give your whatever money you give you give it to charity they rake in billions right but the government itself on top of that on top of that takes taxpayer money right and gives it to the charities so they receive from two sources from the public and the private and 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 the private sector they rake in money from both sides they no one tells you that they give grants and all these kinds of things no one tells you this right uh 195,289 charities in the UK raising close to 80 billion a year so it's an 80 billion pound industry uh, become hungry monsters so on and so forth and there's there's a thing and they use against celebrities what did hillary clinton do right what did hillary clinton do on her campaign celebrities celebrities because people are stupid enough to fall because a, cele a celebrity said so a celebrity said so therefore right right kiara knightley is one of the worst one of the worst culprits on this Kara knightley what's what's that skinny one with a big big lips angelina jolie uh you know and uh charlize Theron, all of the usual right ones all their faces there and the, these and these songs with you too and all the save the children it's like and they're all living these lavish lifestyles right they're all living these utterly lavish lifestyles right whilst the average person in the west <laughs> the energy price skyrockets for them right 
in because of the ridiculous taxes on CO2 this and CO2 that and all that kind of stupidity on cars and all that kind of garbage, right? And then the people, the third world people that are really are suffering more than anyone else, their countries are not allowed to develop in order to lift them out of poverty because of the, 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 the prohibitions on, on fossil fuels. While these, all of these, these, this, this, uh, uh, the elite filth of society, right, aided by your emotional credulity, your idiotic, unthinking emotional credulity, let them get away with it. And you allow them to talk down to you as if you're some kind of lowlife, right? <laughs> because if you don't believe the way that they do, then you're a lowlife. As, as Hillary Clinton said, you are a reprehensible, okay? It's like... Mm. So the, I t these people are going to go to hell upside down. Let me tell you now, right? And so anyway, so the, 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 the article goes on. I'll link it, right? Oxfam, Oxfam has been, has, has had scandal after scandal. There we go. A typical kind of picture sort of thing, right? As if, as, and this is where a lot of the bigoted ideas, um, a lot of the bigoted ideas that Westerners get, about what Africa is really like, right? Yes, there's a lot of suffering in Africa, but there's also a lot of good in Africa, right? I lived in South Africa for 20 plus years, right? This is not all you get there, right? There's a lot of it, right? But the reason it exists is not because we're not giving enough money. It's because of the corrupt government. So, for example, in South Africa, they gave up apartheid, which was a reprehensible, uh, uh, filthy filthy disgusting uh, 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 regime and all they did is they traded one filthy disgusting regime for another because the ANC was a communist regime right South Africa today is ruled by communists and socialists which is why right because the apartheid was disgusting and reprehensible and all that kind of stuff but at least people didn't were, were not dying and being being murdered and raped at the at the at the rate that they are today right so much so that many black people i couldn't believe it i couldn't i had to i had to pinch myself because i thought i because i in case i was dreaming but i've actually heard black people many black people in south africa say right the older generation say that it was better under apartheid than it is today because today they could be they could just be murdered for nothing just killed for nothing. They're they're in actual they're in either the same amount of poverty or worse than before. They cannot find jobs. It's it's why? Well, obviously, what do you expect? Just because it's a black government makes no difference because the government, the ANC, is a is the the is undergirded by communist philosophy. <laughs> the ANC, the ANC, was 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 propped up by the Soviet Union. And no one realizes this was propped up by the Soviet Union. It it taught the ANC all of the 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 guerrilla warfare, right? The planting of explosions, the terrorism that the ANC engaged in. Where do you think they? Who do you think taught them that? Right? It was the Soviet Union, right? And all of this we see. It's all this this communist ideology, the socialist ideology, you know, and. The West, because let me tell you, you cannot watch more than 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 twenty minutes of English television. I don't watch English television anymore. But when I've been in hotels and stuff like that, because I've been away for work and I switch on the television, you can't go more than twenty minutes without some without some charity in your face asking for money, uh, plastering this these these images of these. Uh, languishing children and languishing animals and all that kind of stuff, right? And and they're raking in millions, right? And you get and and the West to get back to it because sorry, I digress. I've got ADD. You've got it. You've got to expect this. And Tourette's. It's one of them things, right? And uh, um, now I lost my train of thought. Typical, right? So so the 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 the, the image that the Westerners get is that. Africa is nothing but this backward co country. So my wife, my wife is South African, right? And she's a white South African, right? And when she tells people that she's South African, people say, well, 
<laughs> people are like, well, why aren't you black? You can, till this very day, <laughs> till this very day, right? I can convince an English person that I, when living in South Africa, that I used, that I used to go to work on the back of an elephant and they will believe me. <laughs> <laughs> that's how bad it is that's how utterly ignorant and it's because of this kind of nonsense right is that because of this kind of stupidity where they with this uh, pedophistry right where please give us money because africa is this the, all the bigotry and the prejudices that that exist in the minds of the western person of what africans are like is because of these stupid activists and these government it's government it's the bigotry of of low expectations the bigotry that oh we're better we need to help these poor backward people and stuff like that right and then they bring in policies which not only hinder the developing countries but actually uh, squash development altogether because you're not allowed to say anything of the poor oh the poor the poor ignorant barbarians let us help them <laughs> and that's what it's like the fact that i can convince people that i used to go to work with a, with a, with a, on, on an elephant right on the back of an elephant and that i have to to shoe lions from the from the front entrance it tells you all you need to know about the abject ignorance in the west that's created by this kind of stuff and that's because this is all you see on 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 uk television this is this is all you see the and and worse right so it just sort of tells you how much money if that if that so only six pounds 35 in every 10 goes to the poor if that if that because once it gets into the country of origin um the corruption of the government of the political establishment there just rakes a lot of it up because you've got to bribe people it's it's a total catastrophe right here's another one um <laughs> the revolutionary communist so even they're <laughs> even they've cottoned on right and they'll actually give you a, a similar a similar breakdown right a similar breakdown the telegraph same thing too many of our charities are nothing but the sort right but the, this is pedophistry they shove it in your face and off they go right and they're predatory they're predator they target like elderly uh, people to give up their money and stuff like that just it, the predatory the unethical behavior is unbelievable and the climate change the climate change issue is no different because even in even in western countries now those who are sort of lower middle class and below are are, are, are increasingly unable to afford to heat their homes so this becomes a problem for especially for the elderly who are very who are vulnerable with the extreme colds that you get in many european countries right they end up dying right and the cold kills more people than the than the than the heat by the way so again i'll put all of these links right i'll put all of these links here now have a look at this completely ridiculous stupidity you can see so if you were looking at this right you would think that this was produced for children right is that's what you would think right this was produced for children okay defenders delayers and dinosaurs literally and this shows you this this shows you the infantilized lack of intellect lack of maturity maturity uh, type of person that the climate change that the activist not just climate change but the activist cadre of people the kind of person that they're targeting is this low intellect emotionally uh unable to control their emotions wholly given to irrational behavior and all of that kind of stuff right that shows you the kind of people that they're targeting okay look at this you you would think that this was for 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 children right ranking of eu political groups and national parties on climate change and what do they say here right can europe which is the which is uh the climate change action network right it's this charity gratefully acknowledge support from the european commission right so it means this they're getting money right they're getting money and they're influencing legislation to screw you over but look what they do look look at the utter utter trash 
bias right so they go on to explain so they're ra basically rating people right you are either a defender a delayer or a dinosaur which is the usual you are you are uh, on the wrong side of history you are irrelevant you uh, ancient peasant person you how dare you not be for pro for progress and here is it right well, here here look what they say where do EU political groups stand on fighting climate change, right? So again, right, this is this is that that um so you know when you have a totalitarian uh uh, uh group where there's this there's this tendency to publicly to rate. So for example, if you go to China, China has inst instantiated a social credit system. So they have so if you do not abide by their very narrow dictates of what it constitutes so again it's dictating the moral conscience of the individual rather than allowing freedom the social credit so there's people in china who cannot ride public transport not because they're criminal but because they ran afoul of some of the government's lofty lofty ideas of what it is to be a good citizen right they're persecuting uh uh persecuting christians they're, they're all distance they're just persecuting everyone left right and center and throwing them like they did back in russia in the soviet russia throwing them in, into into work camps which apparently and i didn't know this until yesterday thank you to one of my viewers who pointed this out to me that the 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 work camps which are known to the chinese as if i'm not mistaken they're called lao gai right still still operate Right, these uh, uh, where where, ba the, where the government basically exploits, just like in the gulags of Russia, the government exploits its political, uh, its its prisoners, not just your political, but all prisoners, and and go so far as to harvest the organs of these individuals. Right, so just so you know so this idea so let's get back to the idea of social credit we must publicly shame and publicly humiliate and publicly denounce and persecute you and besmirch your image on a public level so that everyone looks at you as if you are a a reprehensible a low life and uh, on the wrong side of history and so on and so forth because you are a whatever and this is how satan works and this is how every totalitarian regime works the catholic church did the same thing in the middle ages and all the communists all the socialists all the totalitarian regimes do the same thing you are a good wonderful citizen and you are a bad citizen you are an enemy of the people and so and therefore you must be locked up like that idiot what's his name bill nye the moron guy right is uh, as far as he's concerned people should go just for denying climate change he believes that they should be imprisoned and so on and so forth the idiot you can you and so you get an understanding of what these people they've got no interest in in actual democracy right no interest in actual actual democracy and no interest in actual freedom of conscience none whatsoever Right, and the delusional secularists think that they can establish, uh, 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 think that they can get away from the inevitable inevitable consequence of this liberalist of this liberalism, this progressivism. They're not going to. It's going to end up in the same place every single time. Just the path that leads you there is will be different. Anyway, so let's get back to it. Right, let's have a look. See. Um. So there we go. Right, sorry for that strange little break there. Um, my, my groceries have just been delivered, so I had to go and, and get that. Anyway, so proceeding. So here's how they list it. So the Greens, da, 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 oh, they're the defenders. Yay, yeah, wonderful, wonderful them. And here's, a, here, how feminist is that? <laughs> of course, right? You couldn't, it couldn't be a... It couldn't be a guy, right? Because men, men are evil. Though patriarchy, you know, it's all men's fault that the world is going to hell in a handbasket, right? European United Left, Nordic Green Left, Progressive again, uh, Alliance of Socialists and Democrats, right? The Greens. So the delayers, they're they're delayers. How dare they? Right? They're getting in the way of progress. 
Europe, uh, Europe of freedom and direct democracy. Now, direct democracy is actually a very good idea. Direct democracy, right? But they're delayers. They're getting in the way. Why? It's because these people are actually skeptical. Alliance of liberals and Democrats for Europe. You know, liberalism, I don't like. But anyway, regardless. Right. Um, Non-affiliated, no group. Oh, they're the dinosaurs. They're, they're on the wrong side of history. Europe of Nations and Freedom, European People's Party, European Conservatives and Reformists, right? <laughs> so now let's 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 have a look here, right? See what they say. Let's let's uh, 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 make this a little bit bigger so we can read it more easily. All right. So leading the score, of, uh, 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 right? So nothing but praise. No surprise, this comes as, as no, I find it kind of among the main proclaim priorities of the Green Point. Right. Here's the dinosaur. <laughs> um, there was one particularly salient, one particularly salient, uh, oh, here we go. Right, the dinosaurs. Right, the far right group. Right, they're far right. How dare they be? It's always. If you, dis if you disagree with any social justice warrior stupidity, any of it, immediately, right? Whether you are or not makes no difference. Immediately, you are far right and you're a Nazi. Straight away. They don't care. Have you disagreed with us? Yes, I disagree with you. Therefore, because you disagreed with me, you are therefore a racist, a Nazi, and a far right white supremacist even if you're not so here's one of the funny things right this idiot this idiot who sent me the 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 little memes to uh to to my posting of of greta is uh I was, has something about you you old white men need to uh uh whatever the case might be it's like he clearly has a short memory because, you know, I don't actually fall into that category at all, being a Latino and therefore technically a minority, seeing as though I am of mixed race, I am an immigrant, you know, check all the social justice box, you know, so I've got, I've got social justice cards, let me tell you, right? I've got the minority, what's it? I've got minority cards, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm a Latino, I'm from South America, I come from a... Uh, 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 somewhat impoverished background um, and uh, by the way my parents did better once they left uh, Brazil with its uh, idiotic economic policies which it can't seem to get itself out of they did better once they moved to South Africa and b during those times when things you know hard work and stuff was still not anymore but you could actually do well if you were half uh, if you were in a little more than a half wit and hard working you would do well sort of thing right and um so yeah so i've got all these minority cards sort of thing and this moron obviously uh, has forgotten or something like that but you know uh so what are my minority what are my minority points that i can i've got minority so i'm a latino i'm an immigrant um i'm a mixed race uh i have uh, black ancestry so my great grandmother was black um uh what else so uh my great grandmother my grandmother that were mixed or like black mixed races black and native indian uh sort of natives from from brazil and all this kind of stuff um there's some european uh infiltrations there so my grandfather was actually part part, part german uh, um sort of thing so there's lots of mixed mixing up there and then oh well, by the on my dad's side i'm sephardic jew so there's another nice minority group so a protected class is jew what else so i've got all these you know <laughs> so <laughs> if one thing i'm not is <laughs> is some old white guy in the normal use of the 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 the, the word sort of thing you know uh so it's just it's it's ridiculous it's so totally stupid so you know but that's that that's the intellectual level of these people they can only mock and all that kind of stuff this <laughs> the scandalous 
one percent score of the Italian Northern League. How dare they? <laughs> Lega Nord clearly shows that nationalistic parties cannot offer solutions to the climate crisis. Yeah, it's because they actually have a brain and they they're not going to be uh, uh, corralled into your idiotic things. The far right is a threat to the climate. So it's just it's just sycophantic and bigot, bigoted nonsense. So there we go. Austrian People's Party, nothing. They're dinosaurs. Can you see just the, the outright... They're the first ones to shout bigotry and uh, prejudice and all that kind of stuff. But look at this. It's just... It, it's just this is just utter... This is, this is infantile name-calling of the highest order right this is schoolyard this is schoolyard garbage right christian democratic and of course the christians are down there right bulgaria <laughs> none bulgaria socialist party movement for rights and freedoms democrats for strong bulgaria citizens for european development da, 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 da. right so people that actually take uh that actually give a damn about their people right so they go through each, each thing, and you'll find every time that if you go and you look at what, regardless of what they're called, right, um, you will find that they have strongly, uh, we, we want to look off, like Trump, we want to look after our own people. Not that I believe Trump is a saint or anything like that, and, you know, there's things to be said there. But always, always the, the, the same, it's the same story. The same story, and they go through all, all the all the things to to expose all of the evil people finland uh france right and they go all through that sort of thing so it's just it's just totally it's the same thing it's just name calling calling pointing fingers look at you you're a climate denier you're a whatever this and that and sort of thing you know um here's another I'm not going to bother with that. It's, I'll put it in the link and you can go. But they've... <clears throat> actually, I'll show you. Here are climate-friendly employees. A Twitter map of all the people who are using... This This is a... Um, right? We don't have time. Charity or whatever it is. Nothing but a political political lobbyist group. Right? Uh, social. We have to social socially connect and show the people you can have an app to determine your climate footprint you know so that you can reduce your co2 footprint right climate mail signature climate friendly employees so even uh um uh private companies are going to be coerced because look at you you don't comply you know you need to be shunned and all that kind of stuff you know um just totally ridiculous so let's all here here's we have a map where you can see everyone who's using the hashtag we don't have time uh turn on your location services and use our hashtag are you the next one on our map so it's just you know oh let's let's ver let's all virtue signal the living hell out of ourselves and show how righteous and wonderful we are all right um so he goes and sh here's here's the emotionally incontinent uh so this is this guy re on red ice tv he goes and he he uh, so that ten, top 10 reasons here is the where is it just to show you it's just it's just about hysteria it's all hysteria right the political climate and to place themselves in a leading position as they hope the world begins. How is it that nothing is being done? We have a solution. Right now as we speak, we are building a social network, an arena where you and millions of people around the world will be able to watch who is really doing something to bring hey. an end to the climate crisis. An arena where you can look into what your politicians and business... So there we go, pop and climate rating. So you get rated. Again, social credit rate. This is basically like China in a in a sense that has the social credit rating determined to determine uh who is good and who is bad and who is against the government this is the same this is the same garbage right coercion all that sort of thing rate your politicians 
right doing about climate change what are the fact take it? and who's the who's the who's the evil one is the uh fat fat old white guy again as always right see here's the the and oh the righteous the righteous woman how wonderful Seriously, are they doing their job love bomb the ones in power that are well, love bomb literally use the word love bomb right love this is if you look at my video where i talk about cults right and how cults operate to reaffirm what they want in people they're literally using the same language love bomb Actively the people for solutions and climate because because this this is a, this is the thing right uh let's go there ah oh, come on do they right? in fact take it seriously are they right. doing their job love bomb the right love bomb and so they've got a picture of a woman why because love and this is why if you look at any cult the vast majority of the participants in any cult right the leaders are almost always men okay because the men generally if you look at the personality are the ones narcissistic and psychopathic enough to lead to start cults but the overwhelming majority of the participants are always women why because love bombing works on women because women are more emotional and less and uh, uh and systematized to less degrees are less skeptical and less inclined to rational objective thought and much more inclined to if you love bomb them get the emotions going and they will just act right so if you look at all activism the vast majority of the participants in activism are women ones in power that are actively which is why they solution. which is why they use women to do these these uh, emotional appeals like Naira and Greta and all these kinds of and things right? bomb, the ones that oh the poor the, the, the rich white bad white men nobody wants to be held accountable for the yeah no one wants a bad rating here we go social credit system no one wants a bad rating no one wants to be climate crisis right when the pressure is felt by the people in power when the so here we go let's let's pressure people okay and this is social engineering right social it's the same thing just a different tactic that communist russia used in the soviet union to get people to point fingers to rat on their neighbors to even in the gulags they had people called stool pigeons where one where the prisoners would give given special favors if they would rat or if they would spy on their fellow mates to put pressure on them and all that kind of stuff they will no longer be able to deny this absolutely no more denial you must not denial why not they will have to change their ways. This is a time when together we can solve this crisis. A time of great change. We are working round the clock to create this social network. But you don't have to wait for us. At wedonthavetime.org, you can already send climate bombs, love bombs, and messages to chosen world leaders through social media. Remember, together we have the power, but we are running out oh, of time. We have the power. We're... Right. In January 2019. So yeah, it's just it's unbelievable that the, just the ridiculousness. Um, yeah, check and just the, the first part of the video. Right. Needs. It's all catastrophe. We're running out of time. Oh, right now carbon dioxide okay. emissions are being released at a staggering rate. Climate change. Carbon dioxide, the liter literally the least most concerning gas produced by industry on the planet right the least most mo the least toxic the it's not a problem it's not a pollutant it will soon be self-fulfilling and but but why so you, you will ask the question why you co2 why co2 of all things because co2 is produced by almost every process on the planet so you choose the gas that allows you the widest to cost the widest net over every single aspect of human life possible right the the largest amount of control humanly possible and that's why they choose co2 that's the only reason the ice in the arctic will no oh, longer deflect gonna... sunlight and the siberian tundra is melting while releasing enormous quantities of methane gas into the atmosphere we cannot turn the clock back we are growing closer it's, at an unprecedented a, apocalyptic it's just it's speed okay. to the point of no return <laughs> did you see did you see <laughs> did you see that melting while releasing enormous quantities of methane gas into the atmosphere i just noticed that Who's that? 
Right? Who's that? In the clock back, we are growing closer at an unprecedented speed to the point of no return. But there is still time to... It's just... It's just... It's... it's and this is how it is. It's this emotionally... It's this emotionally incontinent garbage. And no... There are no facts. There's no sound reasoning. Nothing. Nothing. Just appeal to the emotions. Oh, catastrophe. Oh, goodness. And that's the most reprehensible, most reprehensible uh, nonsense that that uh, you know that you can do. Prey on on people, on the credulity of decent people, using using. Uh, and I mean, I, I know I've digressed a little bit here, but manipulate young people, right? Manipulate young people. Uh, 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 I mean, this young girl. I mean, she's autistic for heaven's sake, right? I have a lot of experience with autistic people. A lot of experience, okay? Some of the people closest to me have autism. They're high-functioning autists, like Greta, right? She, her parents should know better than put her in this position. The, what they've done to this girl is absolutely reprehensible because I guarantee you this girl suffers just from having autism, suffers from all kinds of, of emotional and psychological issues like depression and stuff like that. She should not be in the public eye like this, especially where she will then be subject to the low levels of people who will troll her and, and go after her in really, really underhanded ways and all that kind of stuff children should not be it should not be used this way it should not be used this way it's absolutely it's it's the exploit it is the political and social exploitation of children for 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 social for the purposes of social engineering and it's as far as i'm concerned because the emotional scarring that is going on with uh, uh with with this sort of thing is just it's unparalleled you know you, and you can go and, and find videos of young girls always young girls right bawling their eyes out and and it's discovered later that many of them are actors right so the whole thing is, is staged it's false it's nonsense anyway ladies and gentlemen that is my two cents on the whole thing christians especially need to be aware that if feelings count feelings are irrelevant the truth is what matters right and the christians have always had a long-standing ethic of separation of church and state the protestants this separation of church and state that the state is not meant to be dictating the people's conscience to anyone and yet this is being eroded and christians in large part are becoming social justice left right and center and falling uh, and falling for all of this absolute garbage this absolute garbage i see it in other churches i see it in my church where there's absolutely no subtlety no uh, it's just it's just it's just abject uh, brainless credulity that is just being handed over to the government uh, to uh, to the world powers to the beast power right which the beast power is is governments and 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 institutions and all that kind of stuff that the the globalist uh the globalist movement is the beast power that is designing to take over and and oppress and bring its ideology into the mind of the entire world um at the expense of some of the most uh, uh vulnerable people in in the world here's a, a an example again remember this photo this photo right so it went all over with this refugee crisis with the, oh look they're keeping children in cages right they say oh they're keeping children in cage ice at is keeping children in cages at the border and it later and everyone went completely hysterical as usual just emotional incontinence left right and center and it turned out that this picture was false that this picture was actually taken at a protest right so the people doing the complaining were the ones that did this right this was done at a protest so this was completely false had nothing to do with what goes on in, at the borders at all none whatsoever it was a complete lie and the person who made it go viral himself w knew that the origins of this photo were spurious were uncertain but he used it anyway right we all we all know this right so here's a girl crying right that's her mother here's an official right crying again this whole thing the emotional content incontinence went out 
the 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 social justice warriors went on full full triggered mode full up absolute triggered mode how dare she's being separated from her mother and all that kind of kind of stuff and time magazine time magazine by the way is owned by members of secret societies henry luce was one of the biggest uh publishing magnets in the world he's responsible for time magazine and he was a secret society member globalist uh uh illuminist and all that kind of stuff time magazine took the thing and there we go right the for the emotional con incontinence for the world there's an agenda here right and as it turned out again the story be that was good the so the picture is accurate but the story behind the picture was false the mother herself so in this picture the mother herself had previously already been deported right and in this image right what happened here the child was not actually separated from her mother so the mother picked up the child and, and carried and continued in the process and this child the only reason this child was here is because the mother had kidnapped the child from her father is the only reason why she was here and this was now her mother's second offense and the reason the mother did that is because she knew she would gain sympathy from the from the brainless in the united states if she had a child with her that was screaming and crying and kicking and the fact that the mother did this is reprehensible because she exposes this daughter because the there are criminals that run the 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 that run the illegal immigration and the criminals will rape will will sometimes kill them right will sometimes kill them and the emotionally incontinent stupid leftists are enabling the criminal underworld to uh, uh to financially profit off the human trafficking of of these people right all because we want to feel good about ourselves and virtue look at us how wonderful we are being clutching at our pearls because of the crying little children meanwhile you morons are part of the problem you're all part of part of the problem it's, it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting it's ridiculous and i'm i'm sick to death of this of of people who think who think they're doing right but they're actually they're actually narcissists who want to feel good about themselves because oh look at me i'm doing something to help the world better and you do nothing but 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 prolong the issue or or, or compound the issue that's all you do right you you are you are disgusting is that simple right and that's all there is to be said about it and i don't care whether you are secular i don't care whether you are a christian but if you're in the social justice background if you're falling for this for this uh pedophistry this sophistry it's a combination of two words pedo which is child and fistry as in sophistry this this it's the under underhanded the underhanded manipulation of people using children in order to push uh, false and destructive agendas in the world for so for the purposes of social engineering and if you are the type that falls for this kind of stuff then you are a, you are a whatever right you gonna you gonna especially you know if you're a christian you're gonna have to answer for this one day right that you allow rather than love for the truth instead you have a love for yourself and how you look to the public and how and how you can virtue signal like the pharisees in in israel back in the day who didn't care about anyone they only cared about whether about how righteous they looked in public about praying in public and looking how wonderful they are to in in the eyes of the world and as jesus christ said you've received your reward if you are praised by the world you've received your reward but you my friend are going to hell upside down for this for 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 the for the kind for this kind of for these lies and this and and the and the and the the actual legitimate suffering that these policies wreak upon the world and the and the oppression that it causes in the world especially in third world countries that are the most vulnerable to these lofty these lofty lofty social ideologies absolutely reprehensible so anyway ladies and gentlemen that is it for me for today thank you for watching i hope that enlightens you somewhat and if you want to have a discussion have a discussion don't send me a meme 
articulate. You, use your words, little child. Okay? And uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I thank you very much for your viewership. Cheerio.